Okay, guys, what's in the surprise box? Let's see. Whoa, what is that? What's in the surprise box? Whoa, what's in there? Uh oh. Looks like it comes in a case. I can wonder what could be in there. What kind of toy could it be? In? It's a stethoscope. Okay. Did you guys put it all together? Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro. And as you saw in the intro unboxing, we are looking at the Gladfoam 70 millimeter kids telescope today. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Uh, over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes and more accessories than you could count. So, I'm kind of a national nerd. But anyhow, so uh, let's get down to the scope. Um, overall, you know... This is, uh, I think, a pretty good option if your kid, you know, is kind of ex expressing some interest in astronomy. Like, you know, as you saw, I have some kids uh, and they, you know, they really kind of enjoy looking at the moon and that type of deal. And, you know, realistically, this is really not any, you know, like uh, telescope wise any different than most of the short focal length, you know, 70 millimeter telescopes that, you know, quite a few brands make. But this one's kind of cool. I um, mean, that's kind of why I wanted to do a review about this particular one. Uh, just because, you know, like uh, the, the scenario that I can see where this being like, you know, like a really cool, you know, like maybe birthday present or um, like a Christmas present or something like that is let's say you know you're already into astronomy right but you're you know your child is not expressing too much interest i mean i think you know having the telescope be like kind of kid themed is you know it's pretty cool or just in general if you're not into astronomy and you're looking you know your your child is expressing interest in astronomy i mean you know just kind of having to kind of look more you know kiddish i guess you know is kind of a cool thing like my you know girls as you saw they really thought it was really cool that you know it's kind of like you know themed out in that type of deal um, so overall, what can your, you know, you or your, your child, you know, see with something like this? The moon is a really good target, um, as we'll, you know, we'll kind of check out in a little bit. Um, this guy actually does come with a 45 degree diagonal, uh, which, you know, for astronomy isn't actually kind of preferable because uh, the eyepiece placement would be better with the uh, 90 degree diagonal. But for terrestrial, uh, you know, we'll kind of check out some of that as well in a second. Um, uh, so like for looking at like, you know, scenery and that type of deal, it's really good for that actually. Uh, accessories wise, it includes a 25 millimeter eyepiece, which is that guy there, a 10 millimeter uh, magnification wise, that'll give you uh, 16 power and 40 power with the, 20, uh, with the 10 millimeter. You also do get a 3X Barlow, which will triple the magnification of, you know, either eyepiece. Uh, so it'll give you up to about 120X, uh, you know, with the, what it comes with. Which, you know, realistically for this size scope is all that, you know, you'd ever want to use magnification wise. Uh, it also does come with the camera cell phone adapter. Uh, you know, we'll kind of check this out when we're looking at the moon, see how well this thing works. Um, and then, oh, it comes with the remote control to kind of, you know, control, you could actually control your uh, cell phone with Bluetooth. And it comes with the planisphere. So basically, you know, it kind of shows you which, uh, what all constellations and that type of deal are out. So anyhow, let's get downstairs and we'll take this guy for a spin. Alrighty, guys and gals. So welcome outside. So we've got the little scope set up out here. We are going to be taking our first look at the moon. And the moon is a really good first subject or target to look at when you get your first telescope. So as you can see, there's a little bit of light clouds going on, but there's the moon in a nice clear blue sky. And uh, I'm going to take a visual look, which basically means just looking through the eyepiece of the telescope at the moon. Let you know what I, get, what I think about it, and then we will try to take a picture of it with the included cell phone adapter. Alrighty, so I'm taking my first look at the moon with the 25 millimeter included eyepiece with the scope. And um, I mean, the image is nice and sharp, which is to be expected. This is a you know, fairly mild magnification. 
Um, even though the scope does include a 45 degree diagonal, which is kind of typically more for terrestrial viewing of like landscapes and that type of deal, um, it is still very sharp with this. So yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, pretty much anybody would be really satisfied with this, with this view. Um, there's really no um, optical defects or anything like that that I could see. Which again, uh, is kind of to be expected that the slower magnification, the finer scope that the telescope comes with is definitely sufficient for, you know, kind of uh, beginner type of target. So I think uh, we will uh, kind of transition to trying to take an image of the moon once the clouds kind of roll through a little bit and we get another uh, clearing in the clouds. Alrighty, so we are taking a video through the scope, right, of the moon. So if you're kind of wondering what's possible through this telescope, this is it right here. This is as live of a preview as I can give you without actually looking through it. And uh, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm using this the tripod that comes with the scope, which is, you know, for this price scope is actually pretty pretty decent, what you'd kind of expect. Um, and so... The moon was kind of bright, right? And so I just dimmed down the image with, you know, with my phone, basically. Which is what I'm recording the video with. Alrighty, guys, so check this out. So we've got the little uh, scope set up, right? Looking out the window, and this is like in throwaway window. And look at who's out there. It's two bald eagles sitting out on their favorite tree. So let's try to see if we could capture this. I already took a few pictures, a few snapshots, which I'll post in. Turn the flash off. But so this is looking through the scope live, right? Hand holding the camera. And there they are. Pretty cool, right? Not too often that you get to see two of those guys sitting together, just kind of hanging out. Alright guys, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoy those quick clips. Overall, I think this is a pretty cool little package. You know, definitely, you know, if your child has expressed an interest in astronomy, you know, kind of get them started on that. Uh, to get, you know, a much better telescope, I mean, you know, you're talking about, you know, probably like five, six times, you know, the money, you know, minimum to get, you know, something that's significantly better than this. So I think in that, you know, budget-friendly option, I think these right now are running at $90. I mean, yeah, this gives you pretty much everything that you need to get, you know, get observing essentially. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the thing below. See you guys next time. Bye.